Hi, this is Usman Malik of LondonLawTutor.com and on behalf of the team here at London Law Tutor, I wish you all a great start to the new academic year. This podcast is going to focus on law exam technique and we are going to explore the ways in which a law student and even a non-law student can ensure that you have a smirk on the face of the examiner when he's marking your script. And how one can ensure that? Well, we'll look at exactly the little things that you can do as a student throughout the course of the academic year to make sure that this happens so you really do peak at the right time before the exams. And that's the key, really. So, what can you do? Well, for beginners, you can stay regular in classes and ensure that you do not only the essential reading, but go above and beyond that and do the further reading and read as many academic writings in the area, like journal articles, on you know pertinent issues, especially recent developments in the law, um, and really know the debates on contentious issues in this area of law. Um, Whichever area you're doing, for example, um, company law, you can have a look at which academics have engaged in which debates on different areas within company law. So what I used to do was I would make a list of academics um, that I would compile over the course of the year throughout my reading and really make a summary of what that academic has said on that area of law. Um, Doing all of this, what does this give you? Well, it not only gives you confidence when it comes to exam, but it all also makes you think about the subject in a way that other students might not have. And that really makes your script in the exam very unique. And that's the objective you want to try to achieve. You want your script to be unique, and you want to be able to analyze the different debates and different academic views, especially when it comes to essay questions. In my opinion, the most successful students who get awarded distinctions from the best law schools in the, in the world are those students who are able to attempt essay questions, not just problem questions, because problem questions are really simple. You state the law, apply the law, conclude your answer, um, follow a simple technique. Uh, you don't need to, you know, discuss too many academic debates and come up with your own views on a subject. But for essays, that's exactly what you can do to, the, to impress the examiner. And that's what gives you those distinctions. So you want to be able to structure your answer in a coherent manner. Your introduction at the outset should make clear to the examiner exactly what they have asked. You, mean, you need to tell them that you have understood what the question ask is asking you to do. And then you can also say in your introduction that these are the contentious uh, matters or issues that you will be um, raising in the body of your answer. So that really does give the examiner an idea of um, your ability to precisely and concisely identify the issues the question has raised. And then Obviously, you can, in your body, um, discuss the different aspects of the law that have changed or that are controversial. And then you can even um, look at case law and analyze any extrajudicial writings in the area. Um, That really will make your answer very unique and it will uh, give it that, um, you know, Um, ability to actually think outside the box and think, uh, improve your lateral thinking skills. And I I think uh, many of you who have have done jurisprudence and legal theory would realize um, that uh, some some of the articles and authors in that fruitful subject really do give you uh, that thinking, that ability to think outside the box and uh, look at things from a critical eye, uh, which is what makes you unique. And one of the other important things you can do is, for example, uh, throughout my undergraduate course, the University of London would provide us 
uh, with a virtual learning environment, the VLE, on which they would send us newsletters, um, which would be quarterly or monthly, uh, that would actually discuss the recent developments in law. So that really does give you a lot of intellectual arsenal to, um, to cater to exam questions. So I hope uh, this basic introductory podcast to law exam technique has given you an insight on how to tackle exam questions in a way to ensure that you give yourself the best possible chance of you know getting a high 2-1 or a distinction in that module. Um, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for listening. Take care.